Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad that you're worshiping with us. Um, I thought that you could help me count my dots for just a minute. So let's count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Pretty easy, right? Well, actually that wasn't four. And you may have caught on to that. That was sort of a little bit of a trick that made you think that you were seeing something that wasn't actually there. Let's do it one more time and see if you can catch on. You ready? One, two, three, four. You know, and on the inside here, I have this. Have you ever seen one of those before? That's an eye chart. And if you go to the eye doctor, they'll ask you to read the different lines. And it helps them to know whether or not you can see things correctly or not. And you know, I've known a lot of people that have gone to the eye doctor. And when they get done, they get their new glasses, they're like, Oh, I can actually see what's going on. I have a funny story about that. My husband got stung in the thumb by a wasp and he told me about it the day that it happened. And a couple days later, he was still going, ow, my thumb just really hurts. It's just, ow. And I said, well, is the stinger of the wasp still in there? And he said, no, no, I can't see anything. And another couple days went on and he was still complaining about his thumb. And I said, are you sure that stinger's not in there? And he said, I can't see anything. And a week later, I said, let me just see your thumb, because he was still complaining about it. And I looked, and sure enough, the stinger of the wasp was just in his thumb, just as clear as day, and he couldn't see it. And I said, you need to go to the eye doctor. And he went, and sure enough, he couldn't see. And he had to get glasses, and then he put the glasses on, and he was like, whoa, nothing's blurry anymore. And so sometimes we don't know that we're not seeing things the way that they actually are until we get past it and we're like, oh, I did need those glasses. And that reminds me of Palm Sunday. You know, on Palm Sunday, everyone was coming in and they were, they were waving their palm branches and they were shouting, Hosanna, our king is here. And as the week went on, they kind of turned their story a little bit and they were like, oh no, Jesus is not the king that we thought he was going to be. And so then they were like, he's not our king. And then we get past Good Friday and Easter to where we are now. And we realize now, looking back, Jesus was the king of everything, of all of us. And so it's one of those things where the people that were living in Jesus' time during Holy Week, you know, they weren't seeing things clearly. They thought because Jesus wasn't coming in and acting the way that they thought a king should act, that he wasn't the king. When in reality, he was the king of everything and everyone. And so on Palm Sunday, I want you to remember that we need to make sure that we are acting in a way that shows that we think that Jesus is king. That we are treating others with respect and doing all of the things that he called each one of us to do. Being kind, loving one another. So make sure that you're going out this weekend doing that. Let's pray. Dear God, I just thank you so much for everyone that's here worshiping with us today. And I just pray that you would help each one of us remember that Jesus is our true king and that we need to make sure that we're living lives that honor that. It's in your name we pray. Amen.